All right, people. So like usual with the upcoming list, there's supposedly some leaks. So I'm pretty skeptical about it, but we're going to go ahead and review it as if it really was the real list. So uh, it includes the adjusted list hits as well, along with what we're going to be discussing here. Uh, it's supposed to be revealed on March 9th and go into effect on March 18th. So uh, let's just go over it and just say like, hey, you know, this is the real list. So let's get our opinions out of the way. And if it is the real list and this is confirmed, then um, I guess I'll go ahead and actually go over it once again when it's actually on the site. But for now, it's a leaked list, supposedly skeptical, skeptical as usual, but uh, let's go. So. Uh, including all the adjusted hits, so still Plush Fire Band, Damage Juggler Band, Ptolemyos Band, uh, Monkey Board at 1, uh, Luster at 1, and Skull Curl by Joker at 1. We also have these hits. So starting off with Band, yes, there's actually another Band card. We have Band. We have Elder Entity Norden. Okay, I mean, as like I said, something needs to happen. I don't care if Norden gets banned or Instafusion gets limited, just one of the two. Like, we can't have three Norden and three Instafusion. You know, the shenanigans are just way too real. And especially with, you know, Ur and that whole, you know, wizard cheating situation, like, that, that situation would have never occurred. Like, there would have not even been a thought in his mind if he would have cheated, soft cheated, whatever. Thought would have came into his mind to, when he synchro summoned, put that sorcerer in the graveyard if Norden wasn't around. If he didn't have the insufficient into the Norden place. That wouldn't even occur. So, I, like I said, I don't care. You want to ban Norden? Ban him. You want to hit limited insufficient down to one? Lower the consistency? That's fine too. Just, you know. So that would just be uh, a copy and paste from OCG. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, they've made plenty of money off of Norden. He has been some shenanigans, so alright, I'm fine with that. Yeah, and that's the only band on top of Ptolemyos, Plush Fire, and Damage Juggler. So, yeah. Alright, moving on, we got some limiteds. We got a nice chunk of limited. So, starting off with limited, we have Emergency Teleport. Alright, so, uh, I didn't predict this one, but I believe Mega Capital G did in his video saying, you know, uh, especially with all the Emergency Teleports. And Emergency Teleport is really getting abused as of late. Like, it's been a cool minute since... Emergency Teleport has got this abuse in uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! since the uh, previous hit, and then it got released in, you know, with Cosmos and and Monarchs and that uh, Rank Three Spam Phantom Knight deck. You know, it, it's no surprise that if they hit Emergency Teleport, it would just be a broad hit for everyone. So uh, yeah, all right, I, I wouldn't mind that. I really wouldn't. Moving on, we have Reasoning going back down to one. Well, I mean, eh, uh, Infernoids have not really done much, not really much at all since uh, the format change, and the only deck that really played Reasoning was Cosmos, but they kind of stopped. I mean, I, I understand that you got to look at the entire uh, format when uh, creating and adjusting the list, but it's kind of eh, you know? It's like, it's like, okay, you hit Reasoning down to one, all that really hurts Inferno is Cosmos aren't even playing it anymore, like, the only reason why they played it is to, you know, speed up maybe their OTK potential and for consistency's sake, but they're already consistent enough, like, they're, they're, they're actually okay, <laughs> you know, they got their Tin Can, their Cosmo Dirt, and their Artifact Engine, they, they've changed, so, they're not running that Reasoning shenanigans, so to go to the extreme of hitting Reasoning back to one, uh, I think it's a little bit too hard of a jump, you know, it's kind of like you're just looking at the beginning of the format and not the end of the format when it came to the transformation of Cosmos as of uh, Breaker of Meta, so I don't know. Moving on, and probably the most upsetting hit, and if this ever happened, I would cry, and, and Armageddon Knight to 1. No! <laughs> if they hit Armageddon Knight to 1, I swear to God, Vitamin Y live stream is over. I, 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 I shit you not. Like, I can't take it. Every single time there's a new list, they hit my deck. Like, you ban the Wobble Chain, you hit Road to 1, now you're gonna put Armageddon Knight to 1? I mean, I believe Armageddon Knight is still at 1 in the OCG, but don't, don't, Konami, don't. I will cry. I will cry. Like, I will record a video of me weeping and real tears falling from my eyes because I can't. I really cannot. So, uh, I mean... I mean, really, what deck is do using it? I mean, if you're just literally just going off of Ur and YCS Prog, who did that dark Draco, uh, Draco Pal deck, you know, who just sent, uh, uh, what, uh, Zephyros? Like, I would rather have Zephyros banned than hit Armageddon, like, because that's all you're sending. Like, what, who in their right mind right now is sending dark monsters to the graveyard like that right now? I don't even think they're playing Armageddon Knight in, like, like, Phantom Knights. He just doesn't have much synergy with the deck as a level 4, when they have all that in level 3, so I don't know. 
So if that if that's really true and Armageddon that gets limited, I will cry. Moving on, we have Vanity's Fiend, and since they're kind of a, uh, a group, let's go ahead and talk about Majesty's Fiend. So Vanity's Fiend and Majesty's Fiend, both limited to one. Uh, I mean, I get they're floodgate monsters, but they haven't been too bad as of late, you know. Uh, especially, especially Vanity's Fiend. Like, no one is playing Vanity's Fiend. No, not even Monarchs, because he doesn't have the right stats. He has 1,200 uh, defense, and he doesn't fit. Now, Majesty's Fiend, that's debatable, you know. Uh, if you want to go ahead and hit Majesty's Fiend, he's kind of like a... Like a skill drain who's uh, being put in Monarchs because he actually has the correct stats, so he's kind of like a, a pseudo Monarch if you want to. But, you know, Floodgate Monsters, limited down to one, not terrible, but if that's what you want to do. Uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and hit something with Monarchs, you know, I wouldn't mind uh, Pandeity because the card is freaking ridiculous. It's the drawing and the, the both effects both turns, or uh, Monarch Stormforth because. Non-targeting tribute to my monsters can still do everything like yeah, so But Majesty of Vanities, I mean, it's a indirect hit to monarchs, but if that's what you want to do All right moving on we have Draco a face-off right, a couple people talking about this card uh, Despite Luster's hit Draco face-off is a very powerful card I mean you play it and you're gonna get something it's never a flop Either you're going to get something in your pendulum scale, which is great, and the other one goes to the extra deck, or it's going to be on the field. And whether it's Luster, or Master, or Vector, or whatever, Draco Faceoff puts in that work. So, you know, uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like lu just only Luster is enough. So, Draco Faceoff down to one? I wouldn't mind that. Moving on, we actually have a card coming off the list. We have Evil Swarm Exiton. Alright, so uh, I believe a couple of people are saying that they want Exiton back. And uh, some people are predicting it. Uh, it would be immediate turnaround. They just banned uh, Exiton this previous list, and to just bring it off immediately, like, that'd be surprising. Uh, I kind of miss Exiton at times. There's actually times where I'm just like, man, I wish I had Exiton. But I've, I've gotten used to uh, the game without him, so, okay. But if they want to bring him back, I mean, I have no complaints either. You know, actually, when I got rid of all my Yu Gi Oh cards, pretty much, that was actually one of the one cards that I held on to was my Exiton. Uh, just because, I mean, he's banned, I'm not going to get much out of him anyway, because, you know, even if I sell him, I mean, He's not worth anything, and I want to keep him, you know? He's a common writer. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, if they want to bring Exiton back, I guess. Uh, moving on, no surprise. We got that Arata Demock. Everybody saw that coming. Uh, we actually have something moving for a deck that you never thought was coming. It's just one of those things where you're just like, no, no, they're never going to do that. We have Wind Up Carriers of Mighty. Unbanned. Yeah. That's, that's actually pretty surprising. Uh, you know, with CCG, it seems like how much they hate wind-ups just like no 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 every single time ocg has all their wind-up crap back uh i'm not i'm not sure how i feel about just the mighty coming off without hunter being banned because they can pick two or three cards out of your hand and that's just unhealthy in general but i guess in that same expert i guess you should be like well then maybe you should hit like you know uh marmel uh abyss lead because he picks shit out of your hand so i don't know i don't know i don't know where you're gonna go with it if you just have one the mighty you still only have uh one magician you know uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it. There's no magician moves. It's just it's just some ID. So, uh, okay, if that's what you want to do. Moving on, we have. Uh, can't go down any further. Hold on. All right, we have Solemn Strike down to one. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, you know how I feel about back row, and definitely how I feel about Solemn cards. Like that, that's a Solemn down to one. Yes, you know they're not even gonna beat down the bush and put it down to like two. Then maybe down to one. No, no, no. Because they learned their lesson. You can't have multiple Solemn cards. And while in the beginning of the format, it really wasn't there, now it's there. And you're seeing, you know, multiple Solemn being run at our side, and it's, it, you know, it's ridiculous. Stop any monster effect, stop any inherent summon, just fuck people up by only 1500. Yeah, that was a very powerful card. Uh, hopefully, Kanabi made their money off of it, and it's ready to go ahead and hit it for balancing sake. Moving on, we have a hit where I'm still kind of just scratching my head. I saw it, and I was like, what? We have... Erotic Seal of Convocation, and this is one of the things that makes this really skeptical. Um, I mean, I haven't really, I mean, has anybody seen Herotics? Anybody? Anyone? I mean, I see it being played for fun, maybe going to like Labradite or something, but competitive? No. And this card has gone up and down and up and down and up and down. It's like, it's like 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two. no, 3-2, three, 3-2, two. Three, two, three. and now 1? Like. Who, who's playing Herotics like that? Like, no. It's one of the things that makes it really skeptical. Like, maybe I'm missing something. You guys can go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. But, uh, no. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
And moving on, we actually got a Monarch hit besides the indirect hits. We actually have Idea the Heavenly Squire down to one. Ooh, that would hurt. That would hurt Monarchs up a lot. Uh, that's actually one of the big plays. You, know, you run three Idea, definitely. Uh, three Idea and, and what, two Edos generally. Uh, you run the R Rota for Idea. You run the one for one for Idea. Like, Idea just... It's just one of the major plays to put him down to one. That would definitely hurt Monarchs, you know. Uh, like I said, I would, I wouldn't mind. I, the idea hurt, hit would hurt, and then maybe a little bit of Monarchs on four. So maybe they're like, no, we're not gonna hit Monarchs on four because we hit Idea, and then we indirectly hit Vanities and Majesties. So, I mean, if this is all that they get hit, would Monarchs be dead? Definitely not. They'd just be hurting a little bit, you know. Uh, and the engine would be uh, the other engine, the the. the Super Quantum Engine started a little bit with Emergency Teleport, but as we saw from a deck that did top in uh, in uh, Prague, you could still run the Red Red Power Ranger. You special summon him, he'll grab you one from back from the graveyard to your hand, grab a Red Power Ranger, and just loop those two, and you pretty much have a tribute every turn. Like, you don't need that Treeborn Frog anymore, like, you, you, you're you okay. You got the Red Power Ranger, the Blue Power Ranger, you still got one Emergency Teleporter, you can special summon search out the Red Power Ranger just for consistency's sake. Like, you're still okay. So, uh... And with one idea, it hurts, you might have to change it up, like, I'm not sure if you're still gonna go with the one for one, and you'll probably still go with the Rota, maybe, it's just he would probably be the only warrior, like, you would have to make some changes, Monarchs wouldn't be that, definitely not, they're still fast, still consistent, they can still lock you out of the extra deck, so yeah. So yeah, those are all the limits, so moving on to the semi-limits, oh, gotta move again, alright, moving on to the semi-limits, so cards at two, we have... Dante. All right. Well, I mean, Burning Abyss have done a little bit. You know, it's it's been they they did a little bit at the beginning of the format. You know, they out of all the decks that got hit from the previous format, you know, Burning Abyss are still here. You know, one uh, one was it Graph? No, I think it's one Sir. And two, no, it's one Graph, two Sir. Uh, wasn't too bad of a hit for Burning Abyss, but now they've kind of turned into, especially with Dante and uh, Phantonites, kind of turned more in Phantonites and Milling. So. Okay, you know, people thought that Dante was going to get hit down to two last time, and he didn't, so... I guess... If that's what you want to do, <laughs> you know. So Dante to two after a cool minute. So I guess they're like, you know, tour guys, certain graph aren't enough, let's go ahead and just put that Dante down to two. Down to two, and stop all the three Dante shenanigans. I had to move things a little bit, so... Wisdom Mind Magician down to two. I, I think I predicted that. I think I said Wisdom Mind down to two. Uh, and the OCG Wisdom Mind is at one, so... Uh, it would be a nice pre-hit to uh, the Magicians, you know, the Magician and Junior from the Structure Deck, the Pendulum Master, Master of Pendulum Structure Deck is pretty powerful, it's a pretty powerful engine, and, uh, you know, before the Breakers of Meta and, you know, Pepe full power, it was there, you know, definitely there, so, uh, you know, nice little hit, Skull Crab Edge, I, I said that, you know, the Skull Crab Edge Joker down to one was my to two, so, there we go. And, moving on, next time I limited, we have the Wavering Eyes, so, on here, it's down to two. That's still pretty powerful, and I'd still say the consistency is too high, you know. I, uh, you know, you, you could still blow out somebody. It's a consistency lower, you don't have three Wavering Eyes, eyes you have two, but still. Three, you know, all Pendulum Scale setup, Wavering Eyes, that's still game, you know. Uh, wavering Eyes isn't the, isn't the kind of card that can be at multiples. It really isn't, especially with that last effect. Because even at two, you could still... Wavering Eyes, Search of Wavering Eyes, and by then, it's just, it's too much of a blowout, so I'd either say Wavering Eyes should either be banned, and you want to take it to the extreme, some people say banned, absolutely banned, or limited. I think, well, I think limited's fine. Uh, at least they can't search for that second Wavering Eyes. If they blow you out, they blow themselves out, uh, their Pendulum Scales, uh, it's kind of like a reset button to Pendulum Scales, they get their one search, you know, you gotta take the search aspect into it, you know, it's, it's, it's literally a card that searches for every single Pendulum card. It's a, it searches a mechanic, not not a not an archetype. You know, it doesn't search you for a performer pal. It doesn't search you for you know a Draco Slayer. It searches you a pendulum monster. And you know, even at two, the card is a little bit too ridiculous. So I'm not for at two, but that's what they want, and we'll see. But I, I definitely see where your knife going down to one, at least in uh, eventually. You know, I, I I'm not sure ban. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like a really ban worthy card. Is it powerful? Yeah. Is it ban worthy? No. But I can definitely put it in the same boats. It's just the blow up cards like Regeki and Soul Charger and shit like that. So I'd say one. All right. And uh, yeah, those are all the semi limited. So let's go ahead and move on to unlimited. So these cards are coming off the list. Starting off, we have Charge of the Light Brigade. So I guess they're like, hey, you know, we hit reasoning down to one. You can have three charge. Like that. 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 Mm, that's kind of like a. 
it's kind of like a slap in the face to to Inferno players, really. Like, I, I don't think we can go to any Inferno player and be like, hey, like, look, listen to this. We're going to take Reasoning and put it down to one, but we're going to give you Charge up three. How, what do you think? They'd be like, no, fuck that, <laughs> you know? And it's like, and what are you giving me for Monster Gate? Nothing. We're keeping Monster Gate at one. Like, no. So, you know, that, that's a slap in the face to uh, Inferno players. Lightstorm players, I guess, be happy, but, you know, who plays Lightstorm competitively? You know, even with... Uh, Damage juggle and all that, Dan. We haven't been seeing that, you know, rank four Minerva, uh, Light Swarm perform perform age deck anymore. So, uh, so, I mean, I just don't think that reasoning needs to be hit. But if you want to go ahead and put reasoning down to one to put up charge three, I don't care. <laughs> Moving on, we finally have that Dragon Ravine up to three. No one cares. <laughs> you put it up to three. Like, actually, Dragon is actually going to get a little bit more powerful. Uh, with access to that Fell Grand and, uh, and uh, Arc Dragon and uh, that shenanigans, and how easily this deck can, uh, Dragon News can make a uh, Crystal Meth, which is coming out in Shining Victory. I mean, alright, that's what you want to do. Uh, Trigodia, yeah, predicted him going up to three. I mean, really, who cares? Trigodia. He can go up to three, no one's really going to play him unless you're trying to be cute with something. But, you know, with three Trigodia and three Charger Life Gates, maybe we'll see something out, uh, you know, some Chaos Light Swords. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and, and Chaos Sorcerer is that 3 too? No, Core is that 3? Yeah, you could possibly see some Chaos Light Swords. I don't think they're in top, but you might see them in like free play or something. Uh, moving on, we have. Oop, I gotta move. Alright, we're cutting it close here. We're almost done. Uh, so, to 3, Dark Hole. Uh, I don't like the idea of a Garegeki in 3 Dark Hole. It's a lot of destruction, but no one's really been playing Dark Hole as much lately. Structures are just not as good. The only ones who've been playing is the ones that like destruction, like Cosmos. So I guess maybe they're like, well, we indirectly hit Cosmos with emergency teleport, so maybe if we're giving three Dark Hole, maybe they'll like that a little bit better. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to play Dark Hole, play Dark Hole. I mean, I personally, as a, as a, as a, as a balancing standpoint uh, for the game, I mean, it's a lot of destruction, but as a U-Bell player, I mean, three Dark Hole, I mean, sure, I'll Dark Hole you and my U-Bell and summon Terror, so, all right. So, if that's what you want to do, and then... The last card on here, uh, we had a move for windups. You know, we had windup carrier, the mighty unbanned. So, how about how about something for the injectors? So, for the injectors, we have. Let's see if I can actually get it. Ah, you can see it. You can see it. We have injector hornet two three. Uh, just moving off. So you would still have one dragonfly. We didn't see any dragonfly. So one dragonfly, but three hornet. And I believe that's what OCG has. Uh, it increases your consistency, and they kind of lowered your consistency with hitting Armageddon Knight down to one, so you only have one Armageddon Knight, one Mathematician, so you're going to need that uh, that uh, consistency of three Hornet to play Invector, so uh, we've seen a little bit for windups, a little bit for Invectors, and uh, it's not terrible, so this is the true list, it's not a, it's not a terrible list, it really isn't, it's just I have a couple problems, but, but I swear to God, if you hit my Armageddon Knight down to one, I will, I will rage, like, oh my God, because I, I'll be done, I can't, I can't, like, I have nothing like you just every single list, you know, and and I'm working on I was working on a new version of you bell uh, Supervice that ran you know the insta fusion the Norton, but you know this list banned Norton, and that's why I've been holding out on Doing a deck profile that deck or playing it on my and Y because I'm you know waiting for the list But not only do you ban the Norton, so I can't even do that play But then you also ban I mean you also hit my Armageddon Knight down to one like wow I would just be I can't I can't like you bell would just be done. I'd have to be done with the live stream. There's not much I could do. What am I gonna play? Like Mr. Tomato and shit? It's just too slow. You know, and while I love me Dark Reffer too, but Armageddon Knight helps. He does. He does his job too, and that would just hurt. It really would. So, uh, yeah. So, this is supposedly the leaked list. So, uh, they said that it will come out on the 9th. So, uh, I believe that's Wednesday, but the thing that's another thing that makes it skeptical, skept skeptical, skeptical is, uh, Usually when they put the list out, uh, uh, someone did uh, some research on some patterns, uh, one of my viewers subscribers, and said, you know, they always put it out on Thursday, but the 9th, that's Wednesday, so. so I guess we'll keep our eyes open, and we'll see if they update the list on uh, Wednesday, and if this is true, and this is actually the real list, and it's actually leaked, then this person's going to get in a lot of trouble, obviously, because Konami, that doesn't fly with Konami, but uh, I will cry, I will cry for Armageddon Knight, so. 
Anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think about this supposed leaked list. The skeptical as always. Uh, if this was actually the real list, tell me what you guys think of it. And uh, yeah, and of course I will be ready to go ahead and review the real list when it comes out. So apologize for the long video, but you know how I am. I like to elaborate, go into details, and uh, discuss my opinion. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys in either another supposed fake list or the actual real list. All right, people. Thanks for watching.